Hi, good morning Lincoln. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 21st of August 2023. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Lincoln Thames. Okay. What is your candidate number? My candidate number is 2120202021. All right. Are you taking this test as a nurse? Yes, I am. Okay. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Okay. Now, let's move on to warm-up sessions. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right, Mihir. Why do you want to work as a nurse? I have always wanted to work as a nurse, because I love helping people and making a difference in their lives. I find nursing rewarding and challenging, as it allows me to use my clinical skills, critical thinking, and compassion to provide holistic care to patients. How do you handle stress and pressure? I recognize that stress is inevitable in nursing, but I try to handle it in a positive and constructive way. I cope with stress by practicing yoga and mindfulness every morning, which helps me to relax and focus. I also make sure that I eat well, sleep enough and take time off when I need it. How do you deal with difficult patients or families? A situation that I faced recently was when I had to care for a patient who was terminally ill and refused any treatment or palliative care. His family was very upset and angry, and they blamed me for not doing enough to save him. My task was to provide compassionate care to the patient and his family while respecting his wishes and dignity. I took action by listening to their concerns and explaining the situation calmly and clearly. I also involved the palliative care team and the chaplain to offer additional support and guidance. The result was that the patient and his family eventually accepted the situation and thanked me for my care. How do you work in a team? I work well in a team because I value the input and expertise of other health professionals. I communicate effectively with my team members by using clear verbal and written communication, active listening, and feedback. I respect different opinions and perspectives, and I try to find a common ground when there is a disagreement. I also support my team members by offering help when they need it, recognizing their achievements, and celebrating their successes. What are your strengths and weaknesses as a nurse? One of my strengths as a nurse is my clinical knowledge and skills. I have completed various courses and certifications in areas such as wound care, infection control, and pain management. I also keep up to date with the latest research and evidence-based practice by reading journals and attending seminars. One of my weaknesses as a nurse is my time management skills. Sometimes I find it hard to prioritize my tasks and complete them within the allocated time. I am working on improving my time management skills by using a planner, setting smart goals, and delegating tasks when appropriate. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahir. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about, and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you, Mahir. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. The role play will now last for about 5 minutes. Don't worry if I stop you, when the time is up. Can you start the role play, please? Good morning, my name is Lincoln Thames. One of the nurses working here in the hospital. May I know, why you requested to see me? Good morning nurse. I am here for my son, who has been scheduled for a, gastroscopy next week. I would like to get some details of the procedure. Sure, I am happy to help you. Well, how may I address you? Thank you. My name is Mahira. Okay. Mahira, could you please confirm, your son's name and age please? Yes, his name is Ebi, and he is four years old. Thank you for the details, Mahira. I understand, your four-year-old son is scheduled for a, gastroscopy next week, to confirm, celiac disease. And you need some assistance today, regarding the procedure? Yes, that's right. I'm a bit nervous about the procedure, and I have some questions. I completely understand. Don't worry, I will clear all your concerns, regarding the procedure. To begin with, let me explain a few basic details of the procedure. Alright, you may please. Gastroscopy is a common procedure, that helps us diagnose, and plan treatment for conditions like celiac disease. It usually takes around 15 to 20 minutes to complete. During the procedure, a thin tube will be gently inserted, through your son's mouth, into his stomach and intestine. This allows us to take images of the lining of his gut, which will help the doctors, in planning the best treatment approach. Thank you for explaining that. Now, I understand the process. Nurse, I'm also concerned about the preparations for the procedure. Of course, I'm here to help. Mihira, before the gastroscopy, it's important for your son not to eat or drink anything for at least six hours. However, he can consume clear fluids, which are allowed up to two hours, before the procedure. Depending on the situation, the doctor might recommend general anesthesia for your son's comfort, during the procedure. That makes sense. What happens, when we arrive at the hospital? When you come to the hospital, our team will make sure everything is in order. Your son might be given light sedation, to help him relax, and we'll use an anesthetic spray, to numb his throat. We'll also provide a mouth guard, to protect his teeth in the tube, during the procedure. I appreciate the details. What about after the procedure? Are there any side effects? Mihira, your concern is reasonable. After the procedure, your son might experience some minor discomfort, or soreness in his throat. Drowsiness is also common due to sedation. However, these effects should subside within a short while. You can help him stay comfortable, by offering cool, soft foods, and plenty of fluids. That's reassuring. What's the plan, after he's done with the gastroscopy? Your son will be discharged on the same day, once the medical team ensures he is stable. There will be a short observation period, to monitor his vital signs, and make sure, he's recovering well. Mihira, you'll receive instructions on, how to take care of him at home, and we recommend keeping an eye on him, for the next 24 hours. Thank you for explaining everything. This does ease my concerns. You're welcome, Mihira. I understand, it can be a worrisome time, but our team is here to support you and your son, throughout the process. Is there anything else, you'd like to know, or any other concerns you have? Not at the moment. Alright. Mihira, before concluding, let me summarize, what we have discussed today. Okay. We talked about the upcoming, gastroscopy procedure for your son Ibi, who is 4 years old, to confirm celiac disease. I explained that the procedure typically takes about 15 to 20 minutes, and involves inserting a thin tube through his mouth, to examine the lining of his gut. Yes. In terms of preparations, it's crucial for Ibi, not to eat or drink, for at least 6 hours before the procedure, with clear fluids allowed up to 2 hours before. The medical team might recommend general anesthesia, depending on the situation. Upon arriving at the hospital, we will ensure everything is in order, and your son might receive light sedation, to help him relax. An anesthetic spray will numb his throat, 
and a mouth guard will be used, to protect his teeth during the procedure. Alright. After the gastroscopy, Nbi may experience minor discomfort or throat sourness, as well as drowsiness, which should subside quickly. You can offer him cool, soft foods and fluids, to keep him comfortable. He will be discharged on the same day, once his condition is stable, with a short observation period. You'll receive instructions, on how to care for him at home, and should keep an eye on him, for the next 24 hours. Okay. Mihira, I hope the information is clear to you. Yes, you've been very helpful. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. If you have any more questions in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here for you, and your son's well-being. Thank you. That is the end of your OIT speaking roleplay. All the best. Thank you, Mihira. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.